What's going on YouTube? We about to get this grill together and let y'all see how I get the smoking out of here. All right, we're gonna go with the wood chips. We're gonna mix it with the king. So we're gonna put half and half, a little fluid on top of there, get the wood together, and make it happen around here. So I don't know what other cats have, but we're gonna make it happen, man. All right, so open this up real quick. Now your boy get to smoking. Now, see, I already marinated my 20 wings last night. You know, salute to everybody who popped up in the live, anybody in there. So, so we about to do, you know. All right, let's get it together. down here so you only want to work one side of the grill Cats sitting sit at home right now. That's what we doing out here. We about to get the smoking. So we're gonna mix. See what I usually do. I put charcoal in the bottom. <laughs> Then I uh, mix it with this. Then I get my wood. I gotta soak my wood, so I gotta go back and get all that. All right, so get the lighting fluid, let it heat up. Yeah, it's my first time going live on YouTube, so I ain't really want to do it on StreamYard, but we're going to do it on here. All right, a little lighter fluid up in there. Be careful with this shit. Just so we can get it started. Hey, Melee and Goof Troop, man, if you want to hit me up, hit me on my other phone, man. gonna do with this we're gonna set it in here let that heat up right in there so you can set it here for now before you put the rack on because I got the rack over there let that heat up for a little while that's how we get it out here y'all sitting in the house and talking about y'all outside Man, try cooking something, bro. There you go. You know, I appreciate everybody for coming through watching. And I'll be a whole lot of y'all, but this is how we're going to do it, though. We're going to definitely get this 20 wings. So, I, like I said, I don't know what Goof Troop back because me and Goof Troop were supposed to do this together. 
So, GooTube, you watching, man, cam up, bro. Go ahead and go live, GooTube, for the first time, man. Let people see what it is, man. So, what we gonna do is, we gotta let it get hot to about right here, right? It gotta get red to about right here. And we wanna get it all the way here. Once it get hot here, we pour it inside, let me get the wood for y'all. So what we gonna do is this. So what you wanna do, you wanna get a, you wanna get some water, right? Get a little pail with some water in it. Now we got hickory wood here and we got steak wood here. So what you wanna do with your wood, you wanna soak your wood. Alright, so what we're gonna do here. Got a couple pieces here. So we're gonna soak that. Well, we're gonna soak the wood. I do want to soak all the wood, there ain't that much in there anyway. All right, just soak all that, put that in there. Then we're going to put a couple of blocks in the steep here. Uh, this little wood, we can leave that. So what you want to do too, get a couple of big pieces. So, we're gonna do like one more. Mm -hmm. Let it soak in there. You ain't gotta put a whole lot, just let it soak. All right, we're gonna let that soak in there. If y'all enter the building, hit the like button, hit the like button. So we doing the day your boy J. Cole on Talk Live. That's what we doing. Alright. Like I said, we gotta let the heat get to about right here.
There we go. All well, then sitting back hating on each other. This is what I do. Sit back and gonna get this smoker together. Like I said, right now we got the thing there. So I don't know what Goof Troop and Melee at. They probably be watching, but see Goof Troop, we supposed to do this 20 wings, this 20 smoke wings thing. So I'm on it right now. And I went and spent $23. I thought I was getting a case of Heineken. I got baby Heineken, so. For 24 for your little baby bottles, you gotta drink two of these just to get a taste of one. But see, what we're doing right now is we're gonna let this right here, we gotta let it get red to about right here before we pour it in there. So this gotta get red. So when you're doing your smoker, what you wanna do, you wanna put your charcoal to one side of the grill. Then the other side of the grill, you're gonna leave empty. That's where your smoke is going. And this right here, It's right here is your wood chips. So you let your wood soak. You gotta let it soak. You can put it in the dryer if you want, but you gotta let it soak. All right, so that's how we doing it. Hey man, you wanna sit back and learn something, you can learn something. If not, it's cool with it, brother. That's how I spend my Sunday. Yesterday working on the truck, and then we out here doing this. I need to be over there right now with that BMW. Letting that thing run for a little while. But that's all for the other channel. But this is what we doing today, though. It's lit. Nothing's lit. See what you want to do? I'll put charcoal on the bottom here. Then I put the black coal, the royal oak. This goes on top of it. So this ain't nothing but, you know, wood anyway. Coal wood chips. Charcoal wood. So you can let it heat till it gets to about right there. Once that get hot. You put that grill on there. See, this is what I use for my grill. I don't use um regular standard grill. This is what I have right here. This is what a brother working with, this right here. So this is where your food go. We don't do aluminum for you on this. We just put it right on. We clean it up, you spray it down with some spam, and you get it right here. And we don't do aluminum over here. You want that old grill, you want them grill, you want them grill marks in there. You want that smoke taste. You don't want to hide with the aluminum. Nah, we don't hide over here. But this is what we're doing, though. I just gotta let it get red down here. You can tell because this right here starts turning colors. It start getting bright here and get really red, so we can put that in there. But if y'all sitting back with a brother, appreciate it. If not, I still appreciate it. But hey, man. real quick yeah there's a whole lot going on YouTube right now I'm not getting involved in all that I'm not going to entertain it I'm not doing all that I entertain this this is what I'm going to entertain I'm entertain this so you know anybody want some smoked chicken pull up man if y'all if y'all dox me and got my address pull up pull up he has some chicken out here. So we doing right here. Right, I gotta let this get hot though. It's getting, it's red up in here. It's getting red. I have to be careful. I want this thing to blow up in my hand. Mess around with this. I need to get the bust and stick for that. All right. Let's see if I can get one more piece of coal up in there. Hey, React. What's going on, React? Salute, React TV. Just getting it started, man. Right now, basically. I put charcoal right here, and you got the coal up on here, the wood coal here. So what we gonna do, we gonna let that get hot till it gets to about right here. And what you do too, when you smoking, you gotta make sure you soak your wood. You gotta soak the wood, man. That's too much wood, but I ran other bag was running anyway, so you wanna soak your wood, all right? So that's how we doing. And we got these little, these little things of Heineken. Ah, this ain't, it's crazy. I bought a case, and this one came in a case, these little small bottles. But it's only me, though. I ain't trying to get drunk, you know. Then I'll smoke my cigar later. But that's how we doing it. So we, what we did was we mixed the hickory. We mixed the hickory with the mystique. So you mix them up, and you let them soak. So however long y'all want, you know. We about to do these 20 wings and what I'm gonna do too I'm gonna throw a salmon up there too 
I'm gonna definitely throw a salmon up there with them 20 wings. Let me go get that salmon. You pull that out, get that ready too. So I'll be right back. You two, we back in the building, you know. So we doing it there. How, hey, how y'all Sunday doing out there, man? That's how my Sunday going right now. We sitting here about to do some barbecuing, you know. First time streaming on YouTube. Other than use a stream yard, you know. Now cause I can stream on YouTube now, so that's how we gonna do it. Hey, toast to all y'all for coming through. We got these baby Heinekens, man. <laughs> Look like a baby nip bottle, but these ain't nip bottles though. But they baby Heinekens, man. Gotta let it get let's get in there i don't know if y'all can see from there but it's pretty much red like in the corner here it's right here now so i can see it so i wanted to get here i wanted to get right here at least about right here you see where the line's at so we want the flame to get to at least about right here so i can dump everything on top uh, come on just bought this why you ain't working bro well there you go now you want to work Get it to about right here. But it's here now. It's definitely sitting here. We need to get right about here. Man, I hope y'all Sunday is going as good as mine's, man. Cause I'm just sitting up there chilling, man. I'm still I'm staying out the way. Staying out the way, bringing different content, man. I ain't trying to enjoy my Sunday. I ain't enjoying my Sunday watching on YouTube. Watching YouTube channels and everybody just going at it, man. You know, you know, we still got this uh, college freshman thing going on, so it's about to come to an end Friday. Friday, I'm done with it. So the college freshman thing coming to an end Friday, so if y'all still want to donate to it, you know, help out the kids, you can always donate to JQuill, dollar sign, JQuill, ATL, dollar sign, J-Q-U-I-L, ATL. Doing it for the kids, man, so that's coming to an end Friday. All right, so we go ahead and um, bless two, two young freshmen going off to school, so. Y'all want to donate? Y'all can donate, man. You know? Y'all can definitely donate, so. Let me get my other phone so I can show y'all real quick so I can see where I'm at with this.
All right, so this is where we at right now on the, um, you know, raising money for the, college, you know, the freshman kids college fund right now. So if y'all want to donate, y'all can donate to JQuill ATL, dollar sign JQuill ATL. You know, like I said, special thanks to the shout out to Stacy, Crown Key, Denise Bird, Wax Dog, um, Voice, Voice You. Slash, aka I am her goof troop who else everybody that donated man um crown key you know salute to everybody man you know react tv everybody who just been pitching in and trying to make this happen for the kids man wax dog salute especially wax dog melee everybody man you know been pitching in lately and been helping out you know been pitching in with all of them you know, pair pair fours, you know, down to seven oh two spawn. Uh who else? Who else? Um, um what's my what's up to do You know, I know everybody got problems, you know, but at the end of the day, you know, Sage, shout out to Sage and see I ain't got no problem about you, man. You know, I'm just shouting out to everybody who participated in all of this. You know, what I've been doing and trying to help out the community, you know, but I see the community that went left. So since the community that went left, I'm not trying to entertain it, man. So I stay, I stay in the bushes, man, or stay doing my own content, man. So right now, we got the fire here, but we trying to get it here. So we trying to get it here, at least right here in the middle, so I can pull it inside. But you know, shout out to everybody who just been participating, man. Hey, what's going on, Eve? How you doing? Nah, today we out here barbecuing. You know, different content. You know, I'm out here in the woods. See all the trees. That's where I live at. You see all the trees and anything out here. You know? See, the fire is hit, man. It's up now. It's like right about there. It's up now. I ain't trying to put my hand in the fire here. So, like I said, what we doing now, we mix. For those who just came in the building, you take your king charcoal. You mix it with your, your wood coal. Put that inside here. Let it heat up. At the same time, you got this sitting on the side. See, you got your wood. That's a whole lot of wood right there because I have ran out, but you're gonna put that wood in, that wood gonna smoke. It's gonna really smoke. So over here, we don't do aluminum for you. So I got the mesh, this is this the grill that I have. This right here, this will be used. See, this will be used with no aluminum for you. See, when you smoking, you don't do aluminum for you unless you doing like a, you doing like a um, codfish, you doing a whole fish with the head, then you want you might want to wrap it, but I don't do no wrapping over here. We're gonna do a salmon too. So we're gonna do 20 wings and a salmon. So the salmon, yeah, we're gonna definitely do a salmon on here. Now the salmon, you might want to do salmon with aluminum. Depends. You really don't want to stick to the grill. That's why I say you're smoking it. Because you're putting the salmon on this side. Because you, if you put the salmon on the hot side, you got when you smoke it, you got to split the grill. You put the salmon on the hot side, then it might stick. But if you put it on the, the, the cool side with the smoke coming out, then it ain't going to do it. So what we're going to do, we're gonna, I got to pop this open right here. Let me get that open right there. So we can get some of the steam out. We're going to put that back. So I ain't got a pipe coming out of there. So. Oh, it's hot. Like, it's coming now. It's probably right here now. So right, probably right there in the middle somewhere. That's why I'm going to dump everything in there. And plus, I already got some charcoal in it already, so. So that's how I say, you know, all that going back and forth. Hey, man, I'll show you how to cook. I'll show you how to smoke. Definitely going to show you how to smoke some food around here. So we're going to do 20 wings and one salmon. What we got here? Oh, thanks. Appreciate it. Appreciate it. Appreciate it. How we got here? All right. So when you're using one of these, right? Be careful, you, because you have the the wood. The, the table wood is old. I need to put a new piece of wood here. I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna put a um. I'm gonna go buy a piece of two by a piece of um wood pipe like that thick. I'm gonna sand it down. I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna sand it down real nice. Then I'm gonna stain it. And I'm gonna shellac it. I'm gonna do all this thing on live. I'm gonna stand. I'm gonna. I'm gonna sand it. Now I could do this, but the wood is weak because it's been sitting here for a minute. 
Or I could just add wood, but I'm going to just take the wood off and then get a piece of wood about that thick. I'm going I'm to sand it down. I'm going to stain it like a cherry oak, both sides. And then I'm going to shellac it, waterproof it, you know. But I done had this thing right here for about, I think about five, six years, something like that. I had this for a minute. This right here was built by an older black guy down in North New Jersey. He built this, you know. So if you're in the building, man, just hit the like button, man. Hit the like button. You know, share the video. Let everybody see what we doing over here. You know, since you know, since we ain't over here, you know, we ain't over here going back and forth, arguing with nobody. You know, the views are climb later on, so I ain't worrying about that. So one thing, one thing you gotta know about YouTube, you know, salute to Tazo, salute to Tazo, man. Tazo said it best yesterday. We had a conversation. He said it best yesterday. When you putting out YouTube videos, don't worry about the views as much. In the beginning, don't worry about it, because if you're a small YouTuber. Your video, your views are gonna grow later on. They're gonna pick traction up. They're gonna definitely pick traction. So, plus the YouTube gonna share it anyway. So you know. All right, so we getting there now. We right here. I don't know if y'all can see see the redness. Y'all yeah, probably can see it. It's like right here. It's getting there. And we gonna dump it in now. And then we gonna put that wood right on top of that. That wood been soaking for a good minute, so. I done messed that up. Watch this. Probably need light no more. Yeah. Oh, it's still lit. Okay, okay. Yeah. I should pick it up and let y'all see how it look. I'm gonna show y'all the inside real quick. All right, show y'all what the inside looking like. So this the inside. Let me unplug this real quick. I'm gonna plug it so y'all can see what I'm talking about on the inside. That's what I mean. Y'all gotta put your coals to one side. Alright? So I'll show y'all what it's looking like. This is the inside. You see? So we already got charcoal to the left side. So you're gonna put your coal to one side, your charcoal and everything to one side, and then the other side, that's where you smoke your food at. So that's what you see right there. Alright? So put that back right about there. Go. And my dog want to come outside, but I already know what Gizmo going to do. Gizmo going to take off. So I already know Gizmo. He going to come out. He going to run. All right. Now you, you, might hear him, you might hear him whining, but I already know what Gizmo going to do. So when I let him out, he going to run right down there, run in the grass, and he going to take off next door. I already know what he going to do. All right. So as soon as we get to about right, I can see it now. All right. We going to dump it in now. Lift this up right here. Put it there. with these try to get one of these little flat pants you could get this out of like home depot lowe's or you could get it out of dollar store i use it for this but i sit on the ground so i don't want to burn nothing up but this is whole pretty nice so try to get one of these little cheap pants i probably pay a dollar and fifty for this so you get like dollar general dollar tree any dollar store for like a buck two dollars whatever try to keep it on there because it gets especially if you're on the deck i'm on the deck right now so you don't want to set your deck on fire gonna let that heat up then right after that you see the smoke coming up what we're gonna do now we're gonna put this wood up in here Ooh, I don't wanna spill it we're gonna get this wood up in here so you can get big pieces you can get small pieces I got a, I got two big ones this is hickory right here I got two big ones then I got a couple you know a couple small ones in there you know you can use about as thick as you can get it but you can put it bigger than that if you want all it's gonna do is smother it out uh, what else I got in here Pretty much this one right here. You can smell the hickory up in there. See? Then we got a couple of small pieces, like like so. Little small pieces. No matter what angle, what size you put it in, you're gonna smoke that anyway. You see it smoking now. Once I put that wood in, it's it's on after that. So you went you wanna try to get like this up under here. So 
you don't want that to fall out really all right so we got some small ones in so you want to soak them and don't worry about when you put the wood in there and worry about it drying the wood out the wood get wet don't worry about all that just put it in there all right so we're gonna do that now don't matter where you sit it at all right so let y'all know don't never let your wood soak overnight because what's gonna happen is you're gonna get fungus on the wood because see what happened is this wood is pre-treated with a chemical to smoke it so you don't want to sit overnight because you'll get fungus on it believe me, i did that already that, that wasn't pretty look at it all, all the wood out so you don't want the wood to sit overnight just let it sit for about a half hour 45 minutes all you need depends on how you know how you want the smoke to come out i'll let y'all see this also YouTube, so I'm gonna show y'all how, how I set up in there so y'all can get a pretty much an idea on how I put the wood in there. Alright, so what you want to do is this. Let me take this out real quick. This is how it's gonna look once you put your wood in there. See? That's your wood right there. That's how you're gonna get everything to smoke right. You see? Now you see how everything right now, if you look at it, there's a lot of smoke. You see? One side is empty and one side got your Got your coal, your charcoal, and got your wood. So that's how we, that's how it's gonna be looking. All right. So now we can put that, put the what's the name on there. I was trying to get a brisket, but man, I couldn't even get one of those. Those were sold out. Especially up here I live, I should went down in Jersey. Got a brisket. All right. Move this. Side here, all right. So if you get your steam out of there, you smoke it out. That's when you know you got your smoker working. Just pick that bad boy up. You got that smoke, baby. Then we're gonna get the food. We're gonna let that heat up a little something, though. That's how we do it. Then you get to open it up, got your got the smoke in. Whew. All right, so what you're gonna do is take your spam like I do. Use what you want. Some people use butter, grease, I don't use all that. And you wonder why I spray it on this side, just in case I wanna just pre-cook something over there. All right, so we're gonna let that smoke out. Get some spam. Keep your food for sticking so you ain't gotta be scraping it all up. Like who wanna eat food that's sticking to the grill? Not me. Not me, man. So if you come in the building, hit the like button. You leave out, hit the like button. I appreciate it. Alright. We're gonna let this sit back here. Let that let that smother it out. Get the food in a minute. Oof. 
Whew. We smoke it. Y'all see that, right? We smoke it over here. Whew. Ain't nothing in there. It's smoking like crazy. I'm about to cut that back off, though. I'll leave it on there. This came out the back side because I don't have, like, a pipe. Probably can make a pipe for it. But I don't know why I got that rubber O-ring there. I don't know. I don't even... That thing about hard as a brook. Okay, going to leave that there. Let it sit for about two minutes. Got to let the heat up. Got to let the rack heat up. So those who just came in the building, hit the like button, man. Ain't going to cost you nothing. Subscribe to the channel. If you're new to the channel, subscribe to the channel. Hit the like button. So we doing out here on a Sunday. Hey, we ain't drinking on nips, but we definitely drinking on uh, baby Heineken's. You know, that's what we got. Bought a case for $23. And open the case up, this is what I got. Some baby Heineken's, but man, that shit to do. It's only me. We got guests coming by in a minute. But it is what it is. See, YouTube. I tell you one thing, 1609 was right, though. You know, anything is content. As long as you can sell it, but it's content. That's how you do it, man. So if y'all can, get yourself a 55-gallon drum. Usually what they do with the 55-gallon drum, they usually cut it here all the way around. So the guy that made this for me, he cut it in the middle. But usually they just cut the whole thing in half, and they put the drawstrings on the back. They put the, uh, the, the door hangers on the back. But what he did was he put the lip here that's so that you ain't got to worry about the whole thing falling over. So... There we go. Let me get this chicken. Here we go. Of the chicken here that's the chicken this chicken was marinated overnight in lime lemon and vinaigrette so that's what we did that's the chicken right there so we're gonna put this chicken on right now Get the smoke out Chicken, how you want? You can set it on the back side, you can set it on the front. It doesn't matter to me. As long as I can get 20 on there and get that salmon, I'm good. That smoke kicking up, kicking up. Whoo, that smoke in my eyes, but it's cool. It's cool. to get 20 on it. Mm -hmm. Man, let's try to move them over a little bit so I can get five to five. This is going to kill me. Get at least five going across. Seen them so far. And you think about five more left in there.
That's it. Let's see, we got 20 in there. So what you're gonna do is you gotta let this whole side right here cook out. So those are 20 wings on there. So once you start moving them about, they get heated here so we can move it here over, you know, and just slap the salmon on there and just move it around. All right, so that's that. Whew. That's gonna smoke out. Now what you see in there, inside here is lemon juice, lime, vinaigrette, seasoning, rosemary, all types of stuff in there. Parsley, uh, basil, everything is in there, everything. So I let it sit, or I, I probably let it marinate for like 12 hours. It could have, I just, I just put it in the refrigerator for about 12 hours. Sound don't really matter to me, but it is what it is. I'll put this back on right here. How you gonna do it? Just let it smoke out. But see, one thing about grilling, you always gotta stay by the grill. A, gr a good chef or a good grill master, I'm a grill master. I stay by the grill. I don't never leave the grill unattended. Because if you leave unattended, then your food get burned and it get tough and it juices. So what we gonna do, we gonna leave most of the stuff in here. So we gonna get a brush and you just brush everything on there. Cause this right here got all the spices, the sauce, the juice, it got everything in there. Everything up in here. So we're gonna use a brush and brush it all down. All right? So we're gonna put this in the refrigerator so I don't get no dust and no dirt, nothing in there, little bugs flying around. So but we definitely got it smoking though. This is what you call smoking. This is definitely called smoking out here. What you call smoking. And check it, just check it out. Lift it up. Man, look at that. That's what you call smoking. Mm hmm. Put it in the refrigerator. Right back.
see we smoking, right? Yeah, look at that. Now, this is what we got up in here. Mm -hmm. Look at that. See what the smoker do? Woo! You see the color on that? That's what the smoker do. That's what the smoker do. Move it to the side so y'all can see. Y'all get a good look at that. That's what the smoker do right there. Mm-hmm. That's what the smoker do. You see the color on that? See that? That's what the smoker do right there. Hey, man, if you just got in the building, hit the like button, man. That's what we're doing over here. We smoke. Drinking baby honey cans. Eat some nachos. That's what we doing. All right, so we're going to flip those over. I'm going to give it another five minutes. We can flip those. Get that salmon together. And come outside and brush the, the lemon lime juice with the rosemary on top of that. Well, the week before that, I did chicken and beef and sister bobs. So they're going to just be the 20 wings and the, um, and the salmon. Let me tell you like this, man. If you're on YouTube making videos, man, and you have a passion for anything, or you have to, you have a voice, just say it, man. Either you say it or you put the video up. Whether well, you like the fist cars, you like to cook, you like to do model airplanes or model toys, or you just like to vlog and put it up. Right now, pretty much he's doing this. Show people how to smoke. That's what we doing right now. If you like to smoke, get involved. But we definitely about to flip those. Mm -hmm. So we out with it. Definitely we out with it. Hey, Goof Troop, man. You watching this? Yo, hit my other phone. This phone right here on the Do Not Disturb. Hit the other phone, man. Me go on Goof Troop channel. See if Goof Troop is grilling right now. Come on, Goof Troop. I was trying to wait for you, Goof Troop. Come on, Goof Troop. I was trying to wait, brother. But you want to answer your phone, bro. So since Goof Troop didn't want to answer his phone, I had to go ahead and do it. All right, where we at with this? All right, Gucci, if you watch it, come on, brother. You know what? Go ahead and get rid of that. Ah, come on, man. Yeah, I'll probably get another minute or two. Put that over. Let me get Goof Troop. Uh, I guess Goof, Goof Troop ain't grilling today. Right, that's what we doing. Today we ain't playing no music on here. We got dogs barking. Mm -hmm. All right, let's flip this over real quick. I'm gonna put the phone on phone. Don't get too hot over there. All right, step this back a little bit so we can flip this over. See when you smoke, you see the color? 
different. Color look different. Mm hmm. Color different and it tastes different. You see how it is when you smoke, you get you get that red look. See how red that look? Get that red look up in there. We're gonna do something different here. What you wanna do? Yeah, real quick. What you wanna do? You wanna um get yourself. We're gonna put. Say we're gonna put. We're gonna do like what? Four red potatoes and two sweet potatoes. So just pretty much poke a hole in it. Don't cut yourself though. Just run a hole in it so you can get up in there. Smoke again in there. You don't want to cut yourself. Let the, let the flames hit that. put the potatoes on the flame so what we're gonna do we got two sweet potatoes here so 
you want to do is cut that out right there. That ain't looking too good, so close it out. You're gonna leave the skin on there, so you don't worry about that too tough. Take the ends off. Put that there. Now you can sit on the side if you want. You ain't really gotta sit it like directly over the flame. So you're gonna put all that to the side. So we're gonna put the potatoes on the side too. A little heat on it. See that over there bouncing? Right. We got sweet potatoes going in here too. So what you're gonna do, I need to cut the holes in here also. Cut yourself. That's what you don't want to do. You don't cut yourself. Put this on the rail. Put this on the rail. Throw it on the side. Put the potato right on the side wall. All right. One over here. And just keep, you know, moving every night, every time you get, just move around. One over here. That's pretty much about it. Like I said, a good grill master will sit by his grill, keep checking on everything, and let it do what it's do. Appreciate y'all for stepping by, showing up. Ah, oh, man. Gonna do now, right there. Flip them over again. And look at the texture; it's getting darker. You see? That's the color you get from smoking. That's that smoke look. Now, if you see right there, it's starting to get done. When you start seeing the meat crawl up on the bone, you already know you're there. You at that point right now. Flip all those over. So 
you smoke, it keeps your meat juicy, keeps your food juicy, don't dry it out. Like some people may think it dries it out, but it won't dry it out. You gotta keep the sauce and everything together, though. Mm -hmm. You wanna keep everything on one side, so when you get to flip everything over, you know how to flip it. So you ain't gotta get yourself confused, like, did I flip that? Did I flip that? No. Y'all having a better day than me. I'm sitting here chilling right now. Y'all might even get a deer walk by. You might even get a bear walk by. Well, this is what we do on Sunday. Mm-hmm. Yeah, later on I'm gonna go live. I wanna talk about you know, internet dating, catfishing. But if you sit up here in internet dating, be careful, man. Be real careful, because most of these people up here catfish the hell out of you. Mm-hmm. They're definitely catfishing. Be careful with that. But what I want to talk about is Tesla, not Tesla, but Tesla, Oklahoma. Talk about that later on. Tesla, Oklahoma. At the end of the day, they don't want you to talk about slavery. They don't teach that. They teach it, but not a whole lot of that. But at the end of the day, you got to teach your kids the history, man. You got to teach them the past so they know where they're going in the future. So for some of those people saying that, why they keep talking about slavery? At the end of the day, don't mind all that shit. Excuse my language, you too, but don't mind all that. You teach your kids their history. Their history. You teach them where they from, where they people from. Because all of us ain't come from Africa. No, we didn't come from Africa. We was already here, so don't believe all that. The black man came from Africa. Don't believe all that. We all ain't come from Africa, so teach your kids their history, man. You know. How many of y'all went to school and they talk about Tulsa, Oklahoma. I never heard it before until I started reading books up on it. And now all of a sudden, now that's 100 years later, they talking about it now, the massacre. Back then they called it a riot. So back then when they called it a riot, the people that houses was burnt down, businesses was burnt down, communities was burnt down, they had insurance policies. But because, because they called it the riot, they didn't, they didn't allow those folks to make money to get their insurance to get paid off of it they didn't allow them to get paid off of that so a lot of people that got their houses that own their own houses and businesses and black wall street a lot of those people didn't cope from that they didn't they didn't get their money from that but they don't want y'all to know that a lot of them didn't get paid for all of that they took a loss because they could they didn't call it a massacre they called it a riot so they, they took a they took a major loss A lot of people died over an incident where a young man bumped into a young white girl working in a hotel by the elevator. And allegedly they said he did something to her. So what they did was they brought him to town. After they done murdered the kid, and then they went to war. Burned up houses, shooting black people in the street, burned up in houses, doing all this wild stuff. But they don't want us to talk about it. We're not supposed to talk about what happened in Tulsa, Oklahoma, Black Wall Street. But what happened in Lake Lanier? Lake Lanier was a town of blacks. 
with a dam. They opened up the dam and flooded the whole town because they wanted it. A lot of shit went on back then, but they don't ever put that in the history books. They don't teach it in school. Now, Tesla, Oklahoma made it, made it where as though they have to teach it, teach the massacre in school. But they weren't teaching it then because they didn't want nobody to know. They swept under the rug and it was supposed to be unforgetting. We ain't supposed to be talking about it, so they swept under the rug. Oh, why I keep talking about that? Now you have to talk about it. You have to bring it up. It's part of the discussion. It's part of the black history. It's part of your history. It's part of my history. You know, all of us wasn't from Africa. A lot of us didn't come from Africa. So all that talking about we were slaves, yeah, in our own in the United States, but a lot of us didn't come from Africa. So that went on in 1921. Mm -hmm. But it was snowballing from 1917 all the way up to 1923 because in 1917 they had a problem with it it was pretty much just jealousy and envy but you know how it is you got the job how you get that job and i ain't got that job how you bought that beautiful house and i ain't got no house how you got his own business and i ain't got no business how they drive around them beautiful cars and i ain't got no cars how they wearing nice clothes nice suits nice gowns nice dresses how they getting their hairs done nails done how they doing all of this shit? and i'm not getting it it's all over jealousy same thing happened down in Florida and Rosewood. Same thing happened down there. Same thing with Emmett Till. Mm -hmm. Same thing in Chicago. Same thing happened in Chicago. Happened in Chicago the same way. Let's see some black dudes see with a white girl and what they do. They went to Chicago. They shot people dead in the street. But then you had the military that came home from Chicago and they started shooting. So if that say like if 23 blacks done died, 17 whites done got killed. But what they blame it on? They called it a riot. They didn't call it a massacre. So it's a lot of shit that we need to know. We need to learn. Not for you guys to do something stupid, but you need to know your you need to know your history so you can know where you're going in the future, so you can know your future. They're not gonna tell you that. But something to be talked about. Mm -hmm. Definitely something to talk about. Woo! This is what I mean right here, right? When you smoke chicken, you see where the meat crawl up on the bone? That's when you know your chicken done. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So we're going to turn it over one more time. And we're going to rinse it. Then we're going to drink it down with some, some sauce. Not a barbecue sauce, but some sauce. That is, we're going gonna to drink, we're going to wipe it down with the marinade sauce that it came out. Mm-hmm. Some people like it burnt like that. Y'all like your hot dogs burnt like that? Mm-hmm. Over there. Over Sweet potato to cook, but it is. I might cut it in half and set it on top. Whew. You know, shout out to Miss 504. Everybody, man. I ain't got no beef, man. I don't have no beef. I don't have no hatred with nobody. If I put my content out, this is what it is, you know? But, I'm going to. So, you don't need no bread. Eat that like that. You don't need no bread. But I'm going to smoke out because I'm about to go in there and get that salmon. So this is how you eat when you in when you living in the woods. Hey man, you don't need no bread. That's a good beef hot dog. 
that smoke taste make it a whole lot better. Make it a whole lot better. Y'all ain't doing nothing, but y'all pull y'all grill out. Grill for the day. We ain't going to no park. We ain't in no park. Mm -mm. Nah. We ain't in no park. Right outside on the front deck. Relaxing. Talking to y'all. We got in there. Eating a hot dog. A smoked dog with some nachos. Hey, sisters, COVID is lightening down. Hope y'all get y'all kids together and take them to a great adventure. Take them to the amusement park. Do something with them this year. See, I don't know what y'all gonna do. I'm gonna stop giving out that extra six hundred dollars a month or six hundred dollars a week with that unemployment. I don't know what y'all gonna do. I don't even know if they stopped it already, but oh, look at that bug. He don't look at that. That bug don't flew. He land right there. Now he gone. Mm-hmm. I was supposed to be doing this with Goop Troop. I don't know what Goop Troop back. Try to call his phone. Goop don't want to answer the phone for a brother. Look at that. I don't put that all on the floor. Y'all like he could have just did an upload. They could have just did an upload. No, I ain't feel like doing an no upload. Man, we're gonna go off. Mm -hmm. Get that chicken running. We're going to get that salmon. Bring that salmon out. I'm gonna flip it one more time. That's it. What I'm gonna do flip that. I was gonna buy a whole trout or a badge and put it on the grill, but I didn't. I didn't feel like scraping that thing, scaling that fish. I ain't play like doing all that. But we do have a land of salmon. I'm about to go around right top of it. Here we go. See? That's the smoke look you get. What you see on there is rosemary, basil. Um, I forgot something else. You got lime, lemon, vinaigrette, all types of stuff. I let it marinate overnight, so. Put that there. You may get something darker than the other. You may even hear gunshots right now. Always shooting in the woods. See the stuff in the back might be a little darker.
know you know what's crazy about you know what's crazy about black folks now in Tulsa, Oklahoma the way they did it the first black Wall Street they was able to build generational wealth now if that never happened down there in Wall Street they would have had generational wealth from talking about 1921 to 2020 21 that's a hundred years of generational wealth that money could have been spread it all so far and deep where's though because it showed that black people can have a community can have a society but that kind of money that kind of wealth it could have lived a long a last a long time and that's what we need to teach our kids now or try to save for our kids or start something so our kids can get we can all get a settlement but what's the use of getting a settlement and blowing your money on priceless items when you just could have just started a small business and built it from ground up and gave it to your, your kids or gave it to your grandkids so you, you start a business for 30 years and then your kids start having kids you set some of that money aside for your grandkids so when your grandkids turn 18 they have money they have a product that you done made or built or engineered that you can spread with your kids. Gener generational wealth is something that we need. But if you could get a lump sum of money and just blow the money on jewelry, cars, clothes, tricking off women, whatever you're doing with your money, you know, just trying to, you know, you're trying to live like the masses or you want to live like the in crowd. But. You want to live out, what I'm trying to say, you want to live out your means. So, one thing about black folks, we get a certain amount of money, we live out our means. That's kind of say, like, your check is spent before you even get it. You understand know what I'm saying? Your check is spent before you get it. So, y'all know how I work in the hood. Yo, when I get my check, I'm going to get these Jordans, I'm going to get this chain, I'm going to get this car, I'm going to get all of this stuff. And then, when you can't pay your bills, when you live it check to check, and you running around getting high, like I don't care. Yeah, okay, people smoke weed. But if you find yourself spending three, four hundred dollars a week on weed, well you could have took that money and started a small business, or took that money and invest your money in the stock market. And invest your money in stocks and bonds even though a bond might not cost you nothing might not make no money but you figure save it for 20 years for your kid they could take that bond and flip it but you're just sad that a lot of us don't think like that no nah, we don't think like that we rather hate on each other disrespect each other and then want for want us to save each other and so that don't make no sense man that don't make no sense No sense. We all looking for a second hand now. Everybody was hating on Biden. When Biden started pushing them checks out there. You love Biden. It's sad that we need money to change our views and our opinion on life. It's sad. What happened here? You got yams here. I need to cut that through the middle. And you got red potatoes over here. All right, so that's why we doing that. Then we're gonna flip it, cut that in half, and later it'll cook out. So you gonna put that on the bottom end right there. Hot. We get we pretty much done. Let me show y'all what it is. Now, if you look at it right here. You see the bone? That meat is done. It's 
So now we're gonna go ahead and hit it, hit it off real quick. Right back. Taz, oh, you welcome, brother. Now, see, this is what we're going to do right here, right? Now, this is what it, it marinated it marinated in this sauce for about, I think, like 12 hours. I don't know, 10 to 12 hours. So what we're going to do with this, we're going to take this, and we're going to baste that chicken with it. So you want to keep this chicken juicy. So like I said, what's in here, this in here, what you see is vinaigrette. It's rosemary, basil, parsley. Vinaigrette just pretty much number vinegar, olive oil, and garlic. And you got some yellow seasoning in here, some sazoon. You got pretty much a lot of stuff in there. You got lime and lemon juice in here. So what you see, that the water, that's lime and lemon juice. All right, stir that up. You just wanna base your chicken with it. You're gonna let that sit for about, uh, about, about let it sit for about five minutes, then flip it, base it again, then let it sit for five minutes, you take everything off. Then I cut, I got wild Atlantic salmon that I'm gonna put on top of that. And what else? I'll put one about it. You're gonna just let the gray potato and the um and uh, the yam smoke out but I'm about to cut that yam in half if you want to smoke it see the skin it's loose now so what you want to do you take that yam see how it's cutting through look at that the yam pretty much done so what I'm going to do I'm going to take this yam cut it through the middle and I'm gonna show y'all smoke yam. If y'all don't, y'all ain't never smoked a yam before. I'm gonna show y'all how it look. Pretty much different from potato. I'm gonna show you how that yam look. But we gonna smoke it on that side. See right there? When you smoking a yam, look at that orange color. See how soft it is? Now we gonna put that on the smoke side. So you gonna put that over here. You don't really wanna burn it but you want to smoke it all right so what we want to do too i want to slice on top of it like so and what you want to do with that you want to put it on top right there we got one in the back over there so you see how soft it is it's pretty much falling off the skin coming off so So you want to put the yam over there. I'm about to flip that chicken. So what you want to do, you want to grab the other yam, cut that down the middle. I 
but it's pretty much for vegetarians. And then what I'm going to do, I'm going to cut it. I'm going to, when I bring this, the salmon out, I'm going to bring our sliced pineapple. We're going to put pineapple on the smoker. So we got to see what we're doing over here. You could like base it if you want, but just put that on the grill. You ain't got to do much to it. You want that one side to get a little hard. Chicken about to come off. I got to flip it and base the chicken, but you put that over there. Put that right there. You want to cut that potato, that red potato in half. So you want to do you want you want to cook it on the the white side so you can get your grill marks on there. Put it in the back right there. Don't worry about it sticking because the potato will fight. Right, put those in the back corner. What I'm gonna do. That's it. I probably hit it hit it down with some butter, whatever. You'll put that back there. Spray this out a little bit of spam so it don't stick. Burn it up. So what we're gonna do now. The chicken is done. I just wanna um, base it again, the inside, let it sit for five minutes and I take everything off. Then we can get the salmon on top of this. We clean up a little bit, get the salmon in there, that's it. See, if you look at it, you can see the rosemary. You can see everything on there. See that smoke right there. That's the difficulty you get from smoke and from grilling. Ain't nothing like smoked food. Ain't nothing like it, man. Hey Tazo, if you watching, hey hit Goof Troop up on Melee and get my other, see if they get my other number, and you can hit me on the line if you want. But um, or I just wait and give you the number later on, man. Get the other number to my other phone. So we gonna do. So it's pretty much done. So to keep everything juicy and moist, you just want to hit it with a little bit of this. Get that little lime up in there. See, it's my first time doing it on YouTube, so I don't even know how to... How, how you drop the link on this? I don't know how to drop the link on a YouTube Live, so... I don't know. I gotta figure it out later, but that's what we doing over here. You know, if you have any questions, you want you have any questions you want to ask me, you know, about grilling, smoking, you know, leave it in the comments, I'll get back at you. Or just put it in there. But uh, that's what we doing. You know? Yeah, I'm saying, hey, man, you come and hit the like button, man. All right. Probably that's a base out the side, too. Yeah, I do a little. 
let that sit for like five minutes so I can get this salmon. Let me get this real quick. YouTube, we got the smoke, the chicken is ready to go. Mm -hmm. It's all smoke. You see all that up in there? It's all smoke right there. There we go. Put that in the bowl and get the salmon out. What you got there is 20 smoke rings. 20 smoke wings. Put that up. There you go, YouTube. Can't get no better than that. Those are 20 smoke wings right there.
got to clean this up real quick so I can bring the salmon, move over the yams to the side. What you want to do is grab the spam, put that there. your pineapple on the smoker. Put it over the heat real quick. Step out the way. You need this right here. Grab the salmon. Put it here on the smoker. Grab this, if you're in the pineapples, you can squeeze the pineapple right over the salmon. Another have pineapple in the smoker, try it. All right, put that in the refrigerator. Let me get some of the football is over, move all this to the side. So what you can do too, if you want, you can flip over your yams, like so. Put it here. Whew. And what you can do with your yams, you can also put pineapples on that.
Sun name we're talking about over there. Alright. Whew. Salmon gotta smoke out. I ain't not on the grill. You ain't never had pineapple on the grill, try it out. I gotta get the other pieces out of there too. Oh, that's hot. See, look at the potatoes. Mm -hmm. Ones in the back didn't have much heat, but let's sit in the back. Let's get the pineapples real quick. smoke out. I'm going to bring the salmon a little more closer towards the flames.
two right back at you. Let's finish this off right here. So what we have here is pineapple juice, lemon and lime. Alright, let's stir that up real quick. Uh, YouTube, we're gonna get about it here. I'm pretty much about done here. So, appreciate y'all for watching. Appreciate y'all for stopping by. Hit the like button, share the video. If you ain't subscribed to the channel, subscribe to the channel. Your boy J Quill, we about it here. Salute, we gone.